Hello, St. Matthews. For those of you that don't yet know me, my name's Alfred, and I'm one of the ordinands studying at Trinity College, training for ordination, and I'm also on a placement at St. Matthews during my training. For those of you that know me a little bit more, you might know that I'm often somebody who has some quite ridiculous and random thoughts and ideas. And recently, one of the random thoughts that me and a couple of mates had was, I wonder how much it costs to buy rubber ducks. It turns out that the answer to that question is it's surprisingly cheap. It costs just £10.99 to buy 50 tiny rubber ducks online and they'll be delivered the very next day. So, naturally, upon finding that out, I had on my way to me 50 small rubber ducks. And then I had to decide, once I was in possession of 50 small rubber ducks, what to do with them. So naturally, I started taking a few rubber ducks each day and placing them all around the college where I'm studying. And I was doing this in the hope, first of all, knowing that it was going to bring me some joy and I was going to enjoy placing these ducks around the place. And secondly, I hoped that it might bring other people some joy, that as they're walking through the college, perhaps deep with essays or other things going on, that they might see these rubber ducks and there might just be a bit little moment of joy in their day from them. And then as I've been reflecting on this, these small moments of joy that the ducks might bring, it's helped me to think about joy more generally. There may be times in life and circumstances where joy seems distant. And there may be times when we think about our Christian faith, that, oh, we should be really serious and sensible and restrained. But I'm just reminded today that actually joy is something that is promised from God as one of the fruits of the Spirit. And this is incredible. Because it means that joy doesn't have to come from the circumstances we're in. It doesn't have to come as something that we strive towards with our own efforts. Joy is something that we can pray for, that we can ask God for, that he can, we can say to God, God, you have said that joy is a fruit of your spirit. So please, Lord, send your joy to me now. Help me to have joy in you, in who you are and what you have done for us. Help me to have joy no matter what my circumstances are. It's because joy is primarily for Christians a gift from God, saying that he sends by his spirit, that the Apostle Paul was able to say that he had joy in every circumstance. And that's even if he was imprisoned. No matter what is happening, Christians can have a supernatural joy from God. That doesn't mean life will be easy, but it means we can always face life with hope. And so this morning, my encouragement to you is whatever you're facing, whatever circumstances you're in, ask God if he might bring you joy in the midst of that. And it may surprise you as that prayer is answered that you might be able to have joy that seems unreasonable considering what you're going through and so i'm going to close this message by praying for the church the words from romans 15 verse 13 it was a prayer of paul for the roman church and today i'm making it my prayer in fact our prayer for all of us here at st matthews may the god of hope Fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Spirit. Amen. I hope you have all have a week filled with peace and joy. Amen. <laughs>